People think a detox is just food, but you really need to detox other parts of your life, you know, daily and weekly as well. If you want to see, you know, real change, you should let go of dead relationships. You should, you know, that doesn't mean just somebody you're seeing, but, you know, friends or associates or acquaintances, you got to let go of dead conversations. You need to detox from, you know, toxic TV shows, toxic music. Um, just anything that's flooding your mind, whether consciously or subconsciously, with just negativity, you got to detox from that. You know what I mean? And I see a lot of people have have a problem with letting things go or just attachment issues, like something as simple as I would challenge everybody. A lot of people follow 10, 20,000 pages. It's no reason. It's no reason to follow that many pages. You're not getting it's good pages that might be on there, but you're not getting the information because you're seeing a bunch of BS on your timeline. You feel me? So I would challenge people to unfollow, you know, some of the pages you you following. I will also challenge you to look through your cell phone, look through your call log, your contacts. You probably got 10, 20, 30, 40 people in there that you don't talk to at all. Just the act of deleting those contacts, unfollowing those pages. That's a detoxing effect on your mind subconsciously. It'll help you let go. You know what I mean? It'll help you have some detachment from things. So. You know, when you detox and you also need to focus on not just what you're putting in your body, what you're eating, what you're not eating, but you got to do that mentally and you got to do that with the diet of the things you consume, you know, whether that's what you're watching, what you listen to, who you're talking to, some of the information or the nonsense programming that you're getting. You need to detox from everything.